Welcome everyone, this is Farmer Cop. Today I'm going to do a quick, just quick start guide to how to use the Auto Drive mod in Farming Simulator 19. So if this is what you're looking for, go ahead and stay tuned. Alright folks, so as I mentioned, I'm going to give you a quick guide on how to use the Auto Drive mod, which if you don't know what that is, it's a fantastic mod that allows you to kind of set routes and have vehicles automatically drive. So essentially like you hire a worker to do a field, it charges you a worker fee, but you can hire a worker essentially to drive to different locations on the map. So in Ravenport and Fels, in, excuse me, in Ravenport and Fellsburn, the two uh, stock or standard in-game maps, it comes with um, auto drive routes already planned out to a few locations. You might wanna add locations and stuff to it. Um, however, um, I'm going to go over how to just make your own routes. And I'm not going to get over into everything. I'm just going to teach you essentially today. And this isn't what you're looking for. If you're looking for a super in-depth guide, this is not going to be it. I'm going to go just basically into the very basics of it. So I'm going to teach you today how to make a two-way route, a one-way route, and how to add destinations. That's all we're going to cover today. Should not be a very long video. So if that's all you need to know, just the basics, just enough to get by, this is what you want to look for here. There are other things you can do with auto drive where you can send someone to a cell point and have them dump stuff out and everything like that. Um, what I usually do in my personal games is I just, just to keep it easy and simple, I just have them go to the cell point and then I'll just tab over to that vehicle and then have you know, get dumped out from that. And once it gets to a destination, it'll, the, the worker, once they get, they get there, they'll just stop working. So essentially they, they've gotten there and then the worker is no longer sitting there costing you money. So you see in the bottom right hand corner, and we actually can, um, so the, the bottom right hand corner, there's the auto drive um, screen right there, the auto drive menu. So if you have, if you're doing this on PC, I actually don't even know if this mod is available on Xbox or PS4. So this is gonna be geared mostly to, P, to PC. So if you use your keyboard, or excuse me, not your keyboard, if you use your mouse, click the center button, the scroll button, it'll bring up a cursor even though you're in the screen. Yes, you can still drive around, you just can't look around, you just have a cursor. So this is what you're gonna see here, and I can move that cursor you know, wherever I want. And I can move this window around if I wanted to or wherever. So I'm gonna set it just kind of here, because um, that's kind of the focal point of what we're talking about. So this is just in standard mode, so you'd hit power to have it go on a, a route. And you can't see the routes normally when it's in this mode. Um, that's the speed the route's gonna be at, um, and then there's different destinations and stuff like that. And this is how you would scroll through the destinations is these two arrows here. That would say, go to this destination after you've scrolled to it. Um, and then, so this stuff, down here, you're not gonna be able, to, this is the increased speed, so you can increase speed, you can do that, uh, whether or not you're in edit mode or not. So if I wanted this truck to be able to hit 75, I could just jack it up to 75. And in general, I actually recommend you create the, the routes, um, and obviously I can go higher, the create the routes with a tractor because it moves slower, it's easier to do. So but if we're gonna create a route, so essentially this, and the map by the way I'm using is no man's land, so it shouldn't have any routes in there. Um, so we're gonna create a map from the cell point here just down to our starting farm. I open this up in new farmer mode. So it's just very simple. That's what we're gonna do, okay? So if we come over here, what we're gonna do is just so people can drive past each other on here. So if I have a worker coming back and a worker coming to the store, I can make that happen. So first thing we need to do is come over to our auto drive window and hit this. This is the edit button, so it turns it on. All right, so what we need to do is hit this button, this is record. So right now it's gonna record starting from this point and that's a one-way path. If you click it again, it's gonna record a two-way path. So we're gonna do just one-way paths and actually, honestly, in general, I, I recommend doing a one-way path all the way there and all the way back so that way you can have people go back and forth and I found it just kind of works easier than having the two-way paths. And in the Felsburn and Ravenport, all the paths that are standard in-game are gonna be um, just one-way paths. Another thing too, when you're creating paths, make sure the turns aren't super sharp because you can make really sharp turns in this. Make sure the biggest thing you're gonna have drive on these paths or on these routes is gonna be able to make all the turns in them successfully with whatever it's hauling and everything like that. So now that I have record on and it's on one way mode, we're just gonna drive. So there, it's gonna start making these arrows. All right, so let's say we want maybe a, actually we'll do that you know what, we can do it right here. So we're gonna say, we're gonna call, so right where this is pointing, that is gonna be one of these waypoints, which is right under here. So let's say I, and I can double click to, I can turn around, I'm just clicking the center button on the mouse to go from being able to move around to not. So let's say I wanna, I wanna use this as a destination, I wanna call it just dirt pit. So on this screen here, I'm gonna click 
create new target and it's going to create it right here and so right now before you do anything because it'll glitch out otherwise is you need to hit backspace to get rid of that 26 and then you need to type in what you want it to be so i'm going to say dirt area that's what i'm going to type in and then i'm going to hit enter so now it's going to show up here on the screen as dirt area so record is still on so i can just keep driving now that i've created that there's dirt area so i can set someone to go to dirt area now all right we're going to keep going here and then I'm also going to demonstrate how this works too at the end after we get um, our paths set up. So we're just going to keep driving. We should have a curve coming up here soon. And again, try to stay on the right side of the road. I'm a little off here, but we want to make sure that we have plenty of room to do a path all the way back. And you don't have to own the land to do this either. You can do the auto drive without owning the land, which is a good feature too. And I think is kind of important to make it matter. So I want to make sure, and also too, if I get too close to those trees and something wide comes down, it's going to hit them. That last part there wasn't a very good part. So let's say I want the destination of right here. I want this part. I'm going to hit new waypoint. I want this backspace, home farm. All right, so now that I have home farm done, we're just going to go, oh, I need to hit enter, back that there all right now we're going to go this way and we're going to drive back so for this last portion here i'm just going to do these over top of each other you see it'll kind of bounce around like that but it, it, it's doing them see like you can weave in and out but then over here i'm going to divide back out and hit now i have two ways kind of going so it's going to do that where it's bouncing back and forth but it's just going to record the way you're driving here it's not going to bounce over to that path it's still creating a path here so the thing that makes it kind of difficult, and I'll show you how to do this in a second, is once we get up to the store, we're going to create another waypoint that's going to be called the store. And then we're also going to um, want to connect the paths. Otherwise, they'll just be able to go one way and then you'll have to go adjust them versus doing anything else. So we'll talk about all that here in a second as well. OK, so now we're at the store. So we're going to connect these two waypoints. But first, we're going to say this is going to be create a new waypoint backspace and this is going to be store all right perfect so i created store and i want my vehicles to be able to turn around on the path so i'm going to come out this way and then i'm going to make just kind of a gradual loop maybe a little sharper than i want but actually no it's not too bad and then come around this way all right perfect and now the trick is we need to connect these two points so if we just keep driving it's just going to keep creating a new path it's not going to do it anymore so we can actually um so we're going to want to hit this button right here that's going to be so we can connect to here. So then this, so this turns it from just you're doing one point to two points, and it's always going to be on the closest point here. So if we move around, that'll change. We're still recording, so we're not. But then you hit this to kind of select, and then look, now it's selected over to that. But if you keep going, it'll just keep selecting different points, and we have to go all the way back around until we get closer, and then now it'll select that one again. Now what we're going to hit in order to connect these is going to be this button right here. This is toggle connection between. So we're going to click that, and it toggle the connection between. Another important point to note, since we want the arrows to go um, forward, we want them to go this direction, we need this arrow to also go that direction, because if that one was faced the other way, then this path wouldn't connect, essentially. So what you have to make sure you do is the red point needs to be at the back end, so the yellow point is going to be the forward point. And what I mean by that is it's going to go from red to yellow always. It's never going to make a line or an arrow from yellow to red. It'll always make one from red to yellow. So make sure that's how they're set up before you hit create connection. So now the connections are done. Now, if I go in here and I scroll over, well, we'll turn record off, actually. Go in here, turn record off, make sure we're not making any new paths. Turn it off. Um, if I say I want to go to home farm, it's going to say driver of pickup 1978 can't reach home farm. And also any errors or people getting to different locations will show up down here in a message. And the reason for that is I need to hit this button. This is update ways. So now it's going to say down here, recalculating routes, please wait, finish. So anytime um, you add anything to it, you add another route, if you want it to be included in your previous routes or you want it all to be available for people to drive on, you need to wait for this to hit 100%. When, and it does it really quickly. It's not like it's going to take time. Now I can turn that on, and just like that, it's going to start driving, and it'll kind of show you the path it's taking. So there you go. And it's going to speed up all the way to 75 as it goes. But first, before we do that, I want to show you guys this. So if we remember, right here we have dirt area, and I can turn the connections off. It has one way back there. So right there it has dirt area. So let's say I want him to get to the dirt area from the farm. So if he was coming from the farm and he's going to be heading up this way, that's where I want him to get. You see how that's on the other side of the path? If I turn this to dirt area and hit go, 
he's going to drive right past it. And the reason being, what he's going to do is he's going to end up driving all the way up to the store, and then once he gets all the way up to the store, he's going to follow the route around, as we'll see in a second. So he's going to follow the route all the way around, and then he's going to go back and face it since it's on the other direction of the path. So that might be the advantage to having a two-way path here. If we made a two-way path, then he'll be able to just stop wherever. So kind of simple. It's not that hard to use this, and you can make as many locations as you want. Um, I think there's actually a limit, but I've, I've honestly never hit the limit, and I've made quite a few. Um, I'm not sure what the exact limit is. I believe it says in the mod hub if you're downloading it. But as you see here, our truck's still working on it. He's working his way around, and we can turn that off if we don't want to see that. And if I tab over, you know we have other vehicles. So if I tab over to this guy, okay, whatever. And I can actually get him to just go right on it too. So if I, let's say I want him to go to the store. Let's say, so we know that's where the route is at. A lot of times they'll proceed to the closest point. But if you see this point, he's going to be kind of, he, they actually recovered well. He was able to get on it. But sometimes you can see where they, they don't get on it. And they kind of do circles until they get stuck. And it'll tell you at the bottom of the screen if they get stuck. So he's going to keep driving to the store. And as you see, we're losing money up here. It's like paying a worker. We have two workers essentially right now driving to places. And we'll tab over and the truck's actually here. Now, another thing you might say, a lot of times this window will be down here in the corner. But what if you're like, well, I don't want that window to be on there. Um, it's very easy. It's just Alt plus zero moves the window away. So it's just simple as that. Make sense? You just hit Alt plus zero and it moves it away. So... That's as simple as that. If we tap back over to our tractor, he's still driving. And again, if we wanted to get rid of the window, we can. All plus zero. Now, the store kind of glitches out there since he's on a trip right now. Um, but once he gets there, it should go away. So, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions about how to use auto drive, there are much more in-depth videos that are much longer than mine um, out there already on YouTube. But this is just a quick start guide just to get you started with just the very basics of auto drive. Um, and that way you can just get it going on any map you have. So if you just want one for, to a cell point, so if your cell point's really far from your farm, this is perfect. So that way a guy can just drive all the way down to the cell point, and once he gets there, he can just hang out there until you go over there to sell. So very simple. But again, this has been Farmer Cop. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any future guides that I may post or any how-to videos that I have. Um, and just anything like that. So, and if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful in any way, please hit the like button down below. Again, thank you for watching.